How are you guys doing hey, today? Hey. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I don't know your dog's name and I need to know. This is Blue. Yeah, Blue, just wanted to sit in on this one if that's cool. Listen, I love animals, so this is actually, I, I'll be honest with you, I could interview, if Blue could talk, um, I would push you out of the frame and just talk to Blue. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's kind of low maintenance as well. He just, <laughs> he's just picking up anything that's going on. See, Radar. my question, my question is how come Blue, is Blue in Venom? Uh, two or and how come Blue did not get a role? Blue's kind of behind the scenes, you know. Like, yeah, he's, he, like he, he operates behind the camera mainly, uh, and uh, and occasionally good Venom reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so jumping into why I actually get to talk to you guys, you guys both know um, I'm big fans of both of your work. Thank you. Um, so thank you for giving me your time. Thank um, you. Tom, this is your first time getting a writing credit on a movie, I believe. And what is actually does that mean to you? Um, it, it just means that uh, I, I'm not really sure as much. Uh, I, I think it's just established that like I, I'm, I'm part of the family of, of just in the collaboration of, of, of being in, in, invested within um, being responsible to tell a story, you know. For um, so it, it's not far from what I do anyway as an actor. Um, I'm just invested in, you know, having done the first one, that we care, uh, you know, cared to, to, to pitch for the second one. Uh, as soon as we, we found out that they wanted to do another one, really, Kelly and I really wanted to have a shot at um, creating a sandbox so that we could work inside of that and, and build on the, on the work and what we'd learned from the first uh, film and, and roll that back in uh, and, and, and work with the studio to, to push forward in, a, in, you know, in, in script form. So it's just making up stories really and, and problem solving, um, not dissimilar to what I was doing on Taboo and stuff that I do anyway as an actor now. Um, I just, I guess I got a, I guess somebody said, yeah, yeah, you give me a bit of a credit for it, but it's not much of a change. To, for me. Yeah, by the way, I'm still waiting on Taboo season two. But I anyway, know, um, <laughs> just switching gears, um, one of the things, if, I was curious for both of you guys, I love learning the behind the scenes of the making of a movie. Um, if you guys, I'm, I'm, I was just thinking about one sequence that we could talk about, that you could sort of maybe talk about the breaking down of it, of, of how you filmed it, which, and I figured um, the apartment fight scene, just towards the beginning of the film. If you could each maybe talk a little bit about filming that sequence and maybe talk about what fans would be surprised to learn about making something like that. Uh, it's in two parts, I think, largely. It starts in a bathroom off a, off a mirror uh, to a towel in uh, mean, an argument, which is internal dialogue between uh, Eddie and Venom, uh, which then takes us up to a sink where we have a chicken and drinking water argument that then turns around all in one shot to a reverse of the apartment uh, where Venom appears by the couch and then they become, they have a tete-a-tete -tete moment where they discuss openly, uh, they have an they have a have at you argument. It's a, a verbal, a kitchen sink drama, if you like, uh, a look back in anger, kind of one room, uh, two-hander, uh, that then evolves into a physical altercation uh, at a pivot point on the sofa, on the couch, um, which, uh, because he's headbutted by by Venom. At this point, it becomes a physical fight, uh, and uh, we decided we wanted to destroy the apartment, and we obviously have to split the two people up. Uh, so this was our look back in anger, kitchen sink drama, <laughs> with, you know, Buster Keaton elements to it as well, um, which included live stunts, CGI, uh, and some, some good old-fashioned face-pulling acting, you know, <laughs> you know uh, <laughs> amongst the three, like, for, for, for a basic o overview. Um, t technically, um, how, how that would break down would be it, it, amongst those elements. Do, 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 do you know what I mean? The acting bit is, is kind of earpiece talking to myself with the sound underneath firing in across my lines so that we can create the interaction. And I think that's one shot, isn't it? The first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all, one shot up until the very first thing we shot in the movie. Yeah, yeah. So that's so kind you, of home territory. That's quite, quite a nice comfortable morning's work for us, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's easily contained. It then becomes more complicated when we start throwing people through fridges, um, up and, and through bookshelves. Um, we remove things from the ceiling, we punch holes in things, then, the, then and, and windows get smashed and motorbikes and all kinds of things that, that happen with elements and chickens get thrown about, which aren't real chickens. And we have to switch things out for, for props, 
uh, non props. That's, uh, there's wire work. There's wire work. There's green screen tongues. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. at one point I'm pulling pulling Venom's tongue. Uh, it's not there, so I'm holding a, a phone green bat. But largely, it's about one man in the room shaking himself around, pretending that there's another th creature there, and another man on wires, who's Jacob Tamuri, um, being thrown into um, furniture. And then it has to be choreographed in such a way that um, that we can see the beast or the symbiote or the, the tentacles and uh, the you know the, the papers flying out or either they're live props or they're, uh, they're, uh, they're not. Um, yeah, so oh, over to you and what else? Well, no, I, mean, I think, I think, music I think you've covered it. I think you've covered it. I mean, the great, the great, you know, the important thing is to trick the eye in a multitude of different ways. So it's like you're mixing it up, mixing up the physical real with the with CG is always, you know, it's always a happy blend because you're not dependent. You know, you could do, you could do it all, all in a CG way, apart from wire work in a green screen, you know. But we wanted to literally physically smash that place up, yeah. didn't we? And that, and that, uh, you know, you can really feel that happening. You wanted to feel. And you still have an argument within the drama. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so you're having a fight. Yeah. You have but it, it's still a level of tonality which is comic to it, it's slapstick. It, it, but it's it's emotional. There's a there's a there's a, a, a an odd couple argument between a married couple who are having yeah. a, a domestic, you know, so that the people on the street hear these people arguing, like you know, be quiet up there, and then they're, they're having to talk out the window. So you're trying to do a little farce, uh, like a French farce stage play, and in a small room you know it's quite good. it's good fun you know it's it's a good it's a good problem to have you know and it, and it, and it breaks down into multiple departments really that to to, to, yeah, make, yeah. to make that happen you know and i had knee surgeries as well that was that was good fun remember i had yeah. i'd had a knee surgery i had two knee surgeries oh yeah, yeah this man, this man literally 8 weeks before had both knees operated on and and he still went through all of that She's I mean. just turning around in a pair of slippers. It was just, <laughs> I felt very fragile. So, you know, like, uh, it was a really interesting and good fun. Uh, that and the, 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 say, the breakfast scene, you know, where you're, you're dealing with uh, stuff that isn't there and is there, like the food is there, but the fridge door has been opened and closed with a wire and your, your chair's been pulled in by a rope or whatever it is, you know, but creating a, a fantasy world. And making it come to life, but in a in a sort of small, slightly Sesame Street way. You know what I mean, it's quite <laughs> quite good fun. It's quite playful 